What TV presents Shea Butter for you? And here with this week's DIY item is your host, Markeia Morden. Hi, my name is Markeia Morden, and today we are going to be making something special for you guys, and also something that is very natural and that is beneficial to your health, and it can be used in various ways. So today we are going to be making some uh, shea butter. Um, now this shea butter that we're going to be making, you can use it in your hair. You can use it also um, as a substitute for like lotion. And of course the key ingredient we're going to be using is shea butter. Now shea butter is, like I said, um, a multiple kind of like useful like substance. Um, for your hair, shea butter is used as a sealant to keep uh, moisture and it increases uh, blood flow in your scalp when you moisturize it. So along with the shea butter, we are going to be using some essential oils that you may use like, in your everyday life. So the first oil we have here is castor oil. The second oil we have is argan oil. Another oil we have is coconut oil. We have olive oil, and we also have vitamin E oil. Okay, so to get to the basis of each oil, we're first going to start with how useful castor oil is. So castor oil, um, it as well increases blood flow. It's really good for um, moisturizing uh, as a sealant. Um, it promotes hair growth, um, and it also thickens hair. All right, so we got castor oil. Then we have argan oil, and argan oil, it treats dry, brittle hair, so if your hair is dry, brittle, um, using argan oil to coat your hair strands is really good because it um, builds strength within each strand, and it also repairs split ends, and it tames frizz, and it also fights dandruff. So then we have the olive oil, the olive oil improves hair elasticity, it conditions your hair, it's antibacterial, and it's also a strengthening kind of like substance you can use for your hair. And then the last oil we have is vitamin E oil. Uh, vitamin E oil is antioxidant and it affects, um, its effects is promoting hair growth as well, and it rejuvenates the hair and it nourishes the scalp. I kind of forgot about coconut oil, but coconut oil, you might have this actually in your kitchen cabinet. Um, coconut oil is very, very useful. Um, you can use it whenever you cook food uh, to substitute certain oils and for your skin, it's really good. It's very moisturizing and whenever you use it for your hair, it's as well uh, moisturizing and it is a conditioner and it seals in a lot of moisture, so coconut oil is very good. And on the side, we have another type of shea butter. This is white shea butter. Um, there's really nothing different about white shea butter. It pretty much depends on the manufacturer. Um, shea butter from the start is white. And the only reason this is yellow is because it can be produced differently. Um, all of these shea butters, they are um, unrefined, which means there are like no chemicals, so it's natural. So um, all of these shea butters I have up here, they are natural and you can use them in uh, various ways. Um, most shea butter that you find in, uh, in the store, if it doesn't say unrefined, then it means that there are chemicals um, and uh, it is not as, um, useful as the uh, regular raw shea butter. But for right now, I'm gonna get back to you later. We're gonna go and watch a commercial. Hey, do you want some sunscreen? Oh, no thanks, it always makes my skin break out. Oh, this won't. It's all organic and has tea tree oil in it, so it prevents breakouts. That's awesome. Yeah, I'd love to try that. Thanks. Harmony. Don't compromise between clear skin and protected skin. 
What's up guys, I am back. And now I'm going to get to the good part, which is show you guys exactly how to make this butter. All right, so obviously the first step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on my gloves because I, you know, I like to make messes and I just don't wanna make, I'm gonna try not to make a mess this time. So I'm gonna put these gloves on real quick. I got these from Dollar Store, so, you know. All right, so we got our gloves on. And the next uh, part we are going to do is we're going to add the shea, the shea butter. And it really depends on how much you want or how much you're trying to make. So for me, I'm actually just going to put in all of this because I'm trying to, you know, get rid of it. I'm going to use this knife to, like, get the rest out so I can use, like, all of it. If it doesn't stick. All right. Okay. And so after this step, we are going to break down uh, the butter. So whenever we blend it, it will be easier. So hopefully it does. We're going to break it down. Another good thing about uh, Using shea butter is it's not oily whenever you apply it. So you can pretty much, you can pretty much um, use it for anything. I'm gonna just set that right there. The next part is we are going to add the oils. You can add as much oil as you want. Um, anything will work. So I'm gonna add a really big, actually two, Big scoops of this. Okay, let's see. Come on. I really enjoy coconut oil. So I'm going to put a lot in. Okay, that's all the coconut oil I'm going to add for right now. You can always go back in and add more. And now I'm just going to start adding like the oils. There I go, making a mess. I really don't care, I just add oil because, I mean, it's not gonna harm you. So, I mean, I would say at least like two teaspoons, I guess, two to four, it doesn't matter, but I'm just gonna add all the oils in. This is olive oil, so olive oil is really good. All right. So we got that out the way, and now we're going to start blending with our blender. There we go. A little bit high. And if you added too much oil, you can always go back in and add more shea, uh, shea butter. But we are going to try and whip this butter as good as we can so um, there are no chunks. Another good thing about using um, another good thing about using the raw butter is um, you should uh, you will find pieces of like the uh, the nuts in the butter. So like you know it's natural and you're like, hey, I'm using something natural. But um we're just gonna keep mixing until we get it as whipped as we can. Uh this recipe is will really be good for people who have uh like a coarse hair because uh people who do have like that time that that kind of coarse hair uh, it's kind of hard to find like moisturizing products and um, this is really good because it uh, reduces frizz and it seals in a lot of moisture in their hair. So as you can see the butter is now whipped and you can do anything you feel you wish with this butter and I hope you learned.